Yeah. Why? Well, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Thank you for asking. That's good. That, that's that's very swell. I uh, see so you're working, rocking the, what is that, Rocket Power? Uh, yeah, Rocket Power, uh, yeah, members only. Uh, like, what does that mean? Uh, it's it's a um, members only jacket. Yeah like, yeah, like, is there a specific club or? Like a specific, uh, like, brand made this jacket. So like you can't you can't get it nowhere else. And like you know what I'm saying? Like this jacket is like a one of one for Or is it really? Yeah. Like have you ever seen somebody wear a jacket like this? To be honest, I've never seen anybody wear rocket power at all. See? It's a one of one. <laughs> but do you think there's a reason for that? To so why it's one of one? No, to why they don't want nobody copying any shit. Like no, you, no, like, to why copy... people to why people don't wear it. Too many people don't wear it. Members only? No, I'm saying people that there's a reason people don't wear that. Like this jacket? Yeah. What? I mean, it's rocket power. It's fire. Come on now. Is like, it fire? You know how many bitches I get with this jacket? <laughs> like, come, I don't understand. That is a low standard. You have to wear a rocket power jacket? Now listen, <laughs> look at what I'm wearing and then look at what you're wearing. And let's like really talk about it. Uh, yeah, look I'm what, just saying. Look what I'm huh? wearing. Look at what you're wearing. That's I, what I'm saying. Like I dress like a grown man. You dress like a sixteen. Oh, you you dress like you about to go to church, and it's yeah, respectable. I, so I dress respectable. Is church a respectable place? No, Is church a respectable place? No, 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 no. See where you you're dress, from. You dress respectful for respectful things. You don't just. Oh, dress see, that's where you get it wrong, things. young man. You know I'm see, saying you on a legal dress. People like, like that. you, people like you, who no, get on camera and wear bonnets and stuff. I'm different. We're we're just different. My bonnet is it's keeping you know care of my hair. But you Something don't wear it on camera. Not. See, that's what I'm saying. Huh? You you don't want to be presentable like that. That's fine. I'm just saying. No, 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 no. I am presentable. No, you're not. I yes, I am. How am I not presentable? A Tell bonnet? Would you wear that on? Would you wear that to an interview? Absolutely that's not. Different. Thank you. Absolutely not. That's Thank different. You. What do you wear to an interview? Oh, nice clothes. Okay then, dress clothes, button up, suit pants. You feel what I'm saying? That's. But some of us dress like that normally. When it's needed, you wear. No, see, that's the difference. Clothes. That's the I'm difference. I'm on the app in my home. That's the difference. In my that's, home. I'm you saying that's that? the difference between you, you and I. That's you the difference between you and I. I dress like this in normal life. Wearing like you're supposed to. I dress like this. I'm in my crib. I dress like this in normal life. In my crib, I'm dressed accordingly in my crib. I don't know. No, but you're getting on camera. You have a hat on. You're saying in camera. You're saying in my crib, but you're actually on camera where actual people can see you. So it's not like you're. In your I'm crib. on camera in my crib. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I physically? You're, but you're saying I'm you're saying physically. in my house as if nobody can see you. That's it's a different story. In my house, any anyone can see you. In Would your you house. dress like that in public? What do you? Yes. If that's the problem. What do you mean? Dude, you're wearing a bonnet with a chain and rocket power. The bonnet is to keep care of my hair. If you don't, you care still about don't your wear hair, that in public. Right, bro. You, you, you can still saying? don't wear that in public. You can take it off just like a hat. But you don't. You just say you wear that in public. You say you wear it in public. You say you wear it in public. If I take this off, am I naked? Huh? If I take this off, am I naked? You probably look more presentable. Yeah. No. I, what? You would look more presentable. No. You, you in wouldn't. My home. In my home. Stop saying in your home as if you're not on camera. I, I, on camera with one, like I'm going to meet you, and then when, am I going to ever see you again? Maybe. Am I ever going to meet? No. You don't think we'll I'm ever never going to see you again. Oh, that's a bet. If I ever that's catch you on camera ever again, I'm going to talk so much shit. Bro, you're not going to see me. <laughs> I'm going to talk so much shit. It's going to be bad. Bro, you're not going to see me. <laughs> I'm not going to see you? No. Okay. Well, 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 we don't see you. I, I want that bet. I bet. All right. When you don't see me, don't say nothing. <laughs> what? Well, I'm going to need you to run me at least. No, nah, no. Nah, hold up. I'm gonna need you to run me at least like 200 bucks or something, bro. Something. I need something out there. 200 bucks? <laughs> <laughs> Why you don't got that, it? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How am I gonna pay you if I never see you again? Like, <laughs> that's not, that's not a win. Listen, I drop the cash, and if you don't see me again, that's when you pay me. You drop the bread. So you how much saying? time? How much time has you to elapse? And you drop yours, and then I have to drop the bread. You feel what I'm saying? Go like that. How much time has to elapse before that? Um, like whenever, like, cause I'm probably gonna be here for like, if we doing this, I'm gonna be on here for a little minute. Like, I'm not gonna break you out your bread, bro. I'm not gonna leave this shit. Hell no. Nah. Like, I'm, I swear I'm gonna steal this shit. But 
You talking about I mean, seeing you again tonight? You said never again. That has you're to, not you gonna see me. You have to give me at least sixty days. Sixty days. Sixty days. Sixty days is crazy though. You said never. That's that's a short time compared to never. I, like damn, like you couldn't even say like uh, give me like a week. Like how you know I'm gonna be no, here for sixty no, days? Weeks, not enough. Not Six, be on here. Sixty days. Nah, bro. See, you trying to butt me on my bread because you're wait, not gonna wait. send it. You're not gonna be on here sixty days from now. Huh? Why wouldn't you be on here sixty days from now? Why would I be on? Why would I be on Omegle? This isn't Omegle. Six. Omi TV. Same <laughs> shit. This, well, why are you on here today? Why are you acting like I mean you talking shit about the platform? I'm bored. I'm bored. Okay, you're gonna be bored in sixty days. No, I'm not. I'm probably gonna be with a bitch. Here you go with this bitch talking. Yeah. Female. My fault. OG. What's so important about being with women? What about getting married? Starting a family? I it's important. See, in order to get married, I have to be with a woman. <laughs> you don't talk her. like it no. like that. You talk like hooking up. You ain't talking like... I'm no, talking. Like, I'm saying like, I'm going to be with a girl like in 60 days, I'm going to be like with my woman. Like if, like, if I have one in 60 days, I'm going to be with my woman, like my girl. Is that going to be a girl you're potentially going to marry? Probably not. I don't know. I can't say I'm going to marry her. I can't say I'm going to marry anybody. Like You never know. She could be the one, and she 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 can rather be the one. I mean, you control that. Not really. How do you not control that? You control who you marry. Yeah, but I can't control if that person wants to marry me. You see what I'm saying? So I can't control that. If she don't want to marry me, she don't want to marry me. If she don't want to get married at that time, she don't. Well, yeah, or but you, you don't know that. Like, in the, you'll know that in the beginning. Huh? You'll know that in the beginning, though. Hey, man, females will lie to you in the beginning. Oh. It will lie to you no, you see, whatever. if you get on your knee and propose and she says no, you leave. That's the point. See, not all that time wasted for no reason. No, that's if why I... you do that's why you do it within six months to a year. Don't waste time. No. Why would I want to get married that early? Six months to a year that's early? Your grandma yeah. probably got married in a week. Six months to a year? I only know this girl for six months. What are you, what are you, what, what do y'all think's gonna happen in Two or three years. Like, what's going to happen between that person from when you meet them for the first year and the third year? What's going to happen different? Like, I'm going to know this person better. Like, what, do you, what else do you need to know that you can't learn in a year? Everything. <laughs> like, I feel like, I could tell you, listen, I could tell you my favorite color is green. And then in that year, my favorite color can be blue. I don't think that's marriage changing stuff, though. <laughs> if I'm, your I'm, color changes. I mean, like, no, I'm saying, like, any, like, like, if you could say, oh, I like this, and then you don't like it, or like anything, like anything, I'm, I'm just giving that as an example. Like, anything. Okay, what would be in an extreme? I want to know what would be like, oh, I can't marry her now. What could she do outside of cheating? Like you could, I could find a red flag that I never found before. What would be that red flag? Her cheating. Her wanting, I, liking other niggas. Her getting, like, to know other niggas. Her making, like, friend niggas after a while of she, us dating. <laughs> she know I don't like it in the beginning. She's not going to do it. But later on, she could slickly try to do it. You see what I'm saying? Like, she could be like, oh, yeah, I don't do this. I don't like cheating. I don't da 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 And then, like, a month later, she could be like, oh, yeah, I met this other nigga. Damn, what? For real? After you just telling me you don't like niggas? You're uncomfortable with niggas? That's that, what I'm saying. Like, you know, like, even, like a bitch will lie. A bitch will lie. That's the like, problem. I understand if you would rather, like, date a bitch within six months and then, you know what I'm saying? That Boom, boom, boom. That's you. But I would rather, like, you know what I'm saying? Give time. Like, I know this I've already done that. Like, I want to know she's going to be down with me and stay in this relationship and not take my bread. Because committing in a marriage is crazy. What the fuck? Here we go. So I'm gonna make sure this bitch gonna be down for me to to death before I get married. You're never gonna know that. What do you mean I'm never gonna know that? You just said at any moment in time she could say I like niggas and then turn and sleep with other niggas. She can do that at any point in the marriage. No, I knew it. But back to huh? That's what I'm saying. You heard that from out there? That's what I'm saying, bro. It's trip. He's talking about some six months, six what months in, we're like talking to a girl. You like sit, talking you, to a girl. So, so get people me. who, so people who get, so people who get married and ten years down the road, their wife cheats. What was the difference? What do you mean? What is the difference? 
She still cheated after 10 years. Okay. It, it, it doesn't make any difference. You're saying let's wait five years to get married and then she oh, can cheat the next like, day. At least two, at least two or three. You saying six months. Six no, months to lie. a year, yeah. Let me get an old head back. Six months is crazy, bro. Would you get, get married to a to a woman six months into talking to her? Six months to a year. Six months to a year? That's is he, too far. Is he married? You don't, no, like you don't, you barely even know this girl. Is, his pop, is your pops married? Because you gotta, you gotta, if, if the is girl it was. Is you, well, yeah. You know she's for you. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. That's a point. That's a point. Like, 90 days, it, it takes 90 days. A person can fake, fake deal with you for 90 days. That's what and I'm after saying. 90 days, you'll start seeing big, big. He said things. 90 days. I said six months. That's, oh, that's but double that time. Like, He's saying, he's saying in 90 days, a woman could show you this. Like a woman can be like, oh yeah, da da da, and tell you all this. And then night and then and then at the end of that, tell you you could see stuff that she's doing that you like, okay, no. You now nah, you see what the, like you see the red flags that she's giving after she done told you all that stuff. So then double you the time married the girl, you stupid. Cause then you're gonna you gonna you gonna she's gonna divorce your dumb ass and and then you gonna all your money gonna be gone. You're gonna be looking okay. stupid. That you're could, dumb as that that could happen remember. regardless. Even if you're with her for five years, that could happen. There's people who date for seven, eight years. You just saw Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard was dating his high school sweetheart. They got mm -hmm. married and were divorced within one year after 10 years of dating. Okay, so, you so it doesn't matter. you rather get into it early and then waste your time even faster? Damian Lillard more? didn't, so Damian didn't waste his time? He got married to a girl after 10 years and immediately got divorced? Oh. He got married and he felt love for those 10 years. It doesn't matter what she did at the end. He felt love for those 10 so years. So what does it matter if he had been married he for 10 years? all the love and contribution he needed to stay for so, those 10 years. So what if he had gotten married that? for 10 years? And it, a girl, in six months, you're going to have her for a year or two. Literally. You're literally going to have her for a year or two. And then she's going to cheat on you or do something dumb. Damn, why do you think so lowly of women that they're just going to fuck you over? Because that's, that's how they are. They are low. You just how you think all of them? All of them? <laughs> Why don't you? Literally. That's why you vet her. You know the people around her. They tell you about her. Oh, that don't mean nothing. The people around her will lie for her too. What? You know how many niggas I know? So for what? what? Okay, so Damien knew. <laughs> hold on. Let's go back to Damien. Damien knew her for ten years. How the hell did she change in ten years of them dating for them to divorce in one year? She got bored. That's why you think of them. Oh, they were dating for ten bored. years. She got she bored got in bored. one year. She got bored in one. So what was the ten years? The 10 years was them loving each other. And then she got bored in one year of marriage. Women are like ten, she had 10 years with the nigga. She was so tired. what would have been the difference that he had gotten married for 10, had been married to her for 10 years? I can't hear him. Women are like cats. Mm -hmm. Women get, get into mischief. They get bored. If you're not constantly stimulating stimul their mind and stuff like that, over time, they're going to... Gonna well, want something new. Everything so, that you used to do, they're going to say, well, why don't you do this anymore? Men are different. Men are very content. You can wear the same underwear, not the same underwear, but I'm saying you can have the same 10 boxers for the whole year, and it would never bother you. You can live in solitude by yourself, and it won't bother you. A woman can't do that. Really? So when you understand a woman's true nature is to, is, I hate to say it, it's chaos. So the if way you got to chaos over and over and over and over again, they get you bored. So even if you wasn't into or you were in a relationship with them for 10 years, 20 years, and you stopped giving them that dopamine rush. $300 million wasn't enough? Then you're fucked. Oh, no. y'all are fucked. If $300 million ain't enough to keep a woman satisfied, y'all are all fucked. No, well, man. Bro, we there's, are. There's so much shit to it, bro. Because me, bro, I, I had a loving relationship for three fucking years, bro. And I, I loved her to death, but then you know she doesn't work out. She just got bored of me at one time, at one point. You know, not do. I did any and everything. Well, I'm gonna tell you what your problem was. You loved her more than she loved you. For real. When yeah. it comes to a woman, I hate to say you gotta not to see, treat them like dirt, but you gotta treat them like an option because truly, they're options because there's more women to, to men due to ratio. Yeah. You can go find any girl. The thing is, women think they're more of a prize because we're always trying to get inside their pants and this and that and we're always trying to cherish them but instead of thinking damn I'm somebody that's totally different from all these other Pookie, Ray Ray, Tyrone and other and all fact, the other facts when you see that you finally find that niche and say okay I am the man 
you're gonna have women for days. But it's the, it's the picking the right one that's going to stick by you through your thick and thin mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And that's why you gotta that. wait. So no, you don't out. because that that's my point. The way you all the way all of y'all are talking, it doesn't matter how long you're with her. She can get bored at any moment. If you take her through the steps, true. If you take her through the steps and she she does everything the process of what you expect, and you always expect for her. If, if you put it back ahead, she's going to cheat. You always put, but you don't voice it. You always think, okay, she there's, there's a chance she might cheat, so I'm not going to put my heartstrings onto her where I love her too much, where I can't deal with her without her. Yeah. When you do that, to be a better man. But you guys, uh, unfortunately. I feel sorry for a lot of you guys because your your age, this generation right here, these women are the most promiscuous women. They'll sleep with their brother, your brother, your cousin, your auntie. They don't care. They go both ways. And 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 the reason why it's like that is because, believe it or not, it's my generation and a little bit older that told them they don't need you guys. And which is opposite, it's the other way around. Mm-hmm. With with a man, without a man, the world doesn't run. It doesn't. A woman, a female can't do it. Even my daughter, I tell her my daughter all the time. It was you you wouldn't be able to get half the stuff you did. Men run the world. Women function in it and they control the world in the sense that they make they dictate the man what to do. But it's up to you and whatever what relationship you got you're in involved between your legs. You okay, I don't know where we went with that, but I get I get what you're saying. My whole point is I'm just saying. For example, I'm just saying, we can end it kind of right here, but I did that same thing, got married within six months. My parents did the same thing, and they've been married for 40 years. All I'm saying is if the, if the fear is she's going to cheat on me, take my money, it, that could happen regardless of how far you get into it. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying don't yeah, fear the marriage. Just, it, it'll happen any time. It don't matter if it's six months, a year, five years. It don't matter how long you wait. It still could happen. Yeah. Yeah. But life, man. why let it, like, you know what I'm saying? Because you can catch that before you put yourself in that marriage situation yeah, honestly, and you end it and then find someone else that you could do with. Cause I'm there. I'm not saying there's no women out there you can get married to. Cause I'm pretty sure there's like hundreds of millions of women out there that you can get married to that would be the right person for you, me, him, anybody. But I'm saying don't weigh yeah. out your choices and just like get married off rip. Cause then that could ultimately ruin your life. Like you can get in that marriage and then she can break up with you, take everything you got, and now you're you're struggling because that one woman you wanted to date within that six months that you could have caught staying like talking to her for a year or two, and you could have caught that way earlier and didn't have to go through that, all that drought and pain and this and all that. And then you gotta go through, I just lost my girl. I just lost the woman that I loved, the woman I got married to, that I spent 20 bands on getting that ring. 30 bands plus more to doing doing our wedding and then 20 plus bands. more honeymoon and all that and just for her to dump me and take the rest of my bread and more. That's for her to be living good and me to live droughtly and have to go back to my parents or be on the streets. That's crazy. Hell no. That's too the- many it's too many niggas out here that's that's been out here nowadays that that go online telling people, yo, I done got married, da 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 da, and now I'm I'm stuck. I'm at my homeboy house sleeping on the couch or I'm 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 on the streets. I need help. Asking for help because of the shit that they done did. Marrying this girl that they didn't know anything about. I refuse to do that. Hell no. I refuse to put myself in a situation where I have to have to be in like a if, like a 50-50. Hell no. Hell no. I want to know that it's a that it's a 100% that I'm gonna get married with this woman and she's gonna stay with me. You'll never know that. That's my whole point. Well, that, that, I know I would never know, but I, I would at least want that, like, that probability. I don't want to be with a woman and be like, damn, like, this this girl can dead ass like, go fuck another nigga. Well, t- and, t- like, t- statistically, the longer people date, the more likely they are to get divorced. So, statistically, you're actually going against the grain if you want to date a girl. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, I, feel like, I feel like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that's true because I feel like, like you said, you said you said you you did the six month thing, right? And mm-hmm. where are you right now? We've been married for three years. Yeah, we're with you still married. Yeah. 
Oh, oh shit, you lied in. Ain't, ain't no switching up. Brody came on, left him in the block. But listen, <laughs> you <are>, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. Just like you said, the lady had ten years with that nigga and left him just like that. Is ten. yeah. It happened to you too. But LeBron James, they were together in the beginning. Steph Curry, together in the beginning. They got together. They're still going. They I don't had... mean they're still going to be going forever. <laughs> of course, but they made millions and billions within the process. So it's That's all good. That's why they stand with them because they're making millions and billions. Would you leave a nigga that can pay for your kids and your kids' kids' future? Damian Lillard's wife just did that. She left him in one year. She got rid herself. Yeah, true. You she just, has bred herself. She you just said, but she just said, why would she leave LeBron? But I mean, she that lady literally. But she left can her. pay for her kids and her kids' kids' future. So what's the point? So you say she don't got married. no motion herself. Have you seen LeBron James' wife anywhere? Real? Well, yeah, she's always been oh. out of the spotlight. She's never been that kind of woman. Okay, then she has no bread. She has no motion for herself. She's going to stay with him because he can pay for her kids. If that nigga loses his job and has nothing in his bank right now, how much you want to bet she's leaving him? How much you want to bet? They we were, put money on that. You know they got together while he was broke, right? That don't mean nothing. She knew that nigga was about to come See, up. you see the worst than women. It doesn't matter what they do. You're just fucked no matter what, what they do. That's how it is. <laughs> Women are evil. They 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 will laugh and kiki in your face. Bro, check me out, check me out bro. like that. Uh, I knew my girl since second grade, bro, and I've been with her since freaking since start of high school. I'm already, I'm already twenty right now. I just got out of that relationship a couple weeks ago. And she left me like that, bro. How old I treated her like the fucking world. What are y'all in y'all's twenties? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I shit, can see why y'all think the way I do. Relationship. <laughs> She ain't mm-hmm. cheat on me, and I ain't cheat on her. What? I, I just, just all I'm saying, but I can't be older, so I can't. To be fair that. for y'all, being in your twenties, you're probably hard. right. It's gonna suck all through your twenties because women in their twenties, they're a different breed because they think Literally. they can have it all and they can't. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I understand where you're coming from. So, so I know I can understand the fear and all that because women in their twenties they tend to think. I'm going to get all this. I can get this man. I can get somebody making $300,000. And so they treat the men who make average money or the men who are making even just enough, $75,000 a year, which is quite a bit of money. They'll be like, oh, I can't deal with that. It's just like, what the fuck is going on? I got you. Fair enough. Good talk. Yeah, good talk. For real. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I better see you again. You're not going to see. Bro, you're going to have to run me my $200. I promise you. Gonna right? see each other again. I promise Hold on, you. Let me tell you. Wait, let me take my shit. Let me. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got right, we it. Go. All right, gonna see. We gonna see. If you listen, you're not gonna see me again. You gonna run me my money when we see you again? Listen, you're not gonna see me again. Wow. Okay, we'll see. All right. All right, man. I'll catch you. I'm gonna catch you too. All right.